Bob, I've been coming down to Air Venture for a number of years now. I've always seen your airplanes here, but they've always been of a bigger variety. It looks like you've shrunk one down to the light sport aircraft category. Yeah, there's been a lot of interest in the light sport for various reasons. I guess a lot of it because the older fellows like to better to get their, not worry about their medical, but um, I did. I decided to build one, uh, kind of a, an addition to our Bearhawk line. Uh, gone from the four-place plane, and then I had a really nice, good performing two-place tandem and, and decided to try the LSA. It's worked out good. So when did you first start to develop the uh, light sport aircraft category uh, Bearhawk? Well, I was kind of slow on this project. I probably started thinking about it about 10 years ago and uh, when it first got and then I started building it about eight, nine years ago. I started building the airplane after I did all the engineering work on it, made my drawings. And it was a rather slow process for me. Usually I build a plane in three years or so, but this one ended up being a, put on the back burner a lot. Because I wasn't sure that there was really a market for LSA, and I didn't need an LSA. But I kept going along on it. As I got near the end, I could see that it was probably more important that I get it finished up and bring it up here. That's I brought it up here last year for the first, just flew off to 40 hours and came right up here with it. Now, are you going to be bringing this in as a full LSA factory built, or are you going to stay in the experimental category? How are you going to be offering your plan? We're going to stay in the experimental home built category. Uh, it's available, you can, it's, it's designed as being a plans-built airplane, so anybody that wants to can just buy the plans and build it. It's, there's no special parts in it, it's all standard materials. Um, no proprietary stuff. But we have uh, developed a kit for it, a quick build kit, and uh, it's ready to go. And we've actually sold a few of them already and delivered a few of them. Uh, so it's, uh, the kit's a very nice kit, so we could probably learned a lot from kidding the other planes, so this one's even more perfect. <laughs> what type of a kit it is? Yes, yeah, so it's a welded 4130 uh, fuselage, and, and the landing gear is 4130 uh, welded with a spring hydraulic shock system. The tail feathers are also uh, welded tubing and, uh, and, and ribs, um, metal ribs, and uh, the wing is all aluminum. It's uh, The wing construction is one that's been around for years, this type of construction. Uh, it's on all the other two other Bearhawks and many other planes before that have used a similar type of construction. It's, but it's all aluminum wing, flush riveted so that it gets the most efficiency it can and the strongest as it can be. And what type of uh, building times? Uh... It depends a lot on the individual, but I would think from what I've seen that, uh, you know, some way that is fairly familiar with what they're doing could probably do it 1,500 hours straight out and uh, and then uh, maybe 2,500 hours for somebody that was a, a ranked beginner and, and you know, had to spend a lot of time thinking about what they were doing. And if you were to step into say some of your quick little kits, what would be what would they shave off of that? I would say you could almost take 70% of the time out of it if you built a simple airplane, which most, if you built a real simple one, you could probably do it in six or seven hundred hours. Uh, quick build because all the welding is done for you. You don't have to learn how to weld. Uh, you know, most of the wing is finished. All you got to do is close it up. And uh, you, you do have to do a little sheet metal around the front of the plane and fabric work and installing all the systems and cables and stuff. But, it's a lot less work. If you... And what are we powering with when we've got the kit ready to go? Well, we have a lot of engines that could be used. This particular one has a Continental, a small four-cylinder Continental. I have run it with a 65 Continental and it flew for about 30 hours with that. It worked really well. And, and then I, now I have an 85 Continental in it. And uh, then I took and reworked the 85 along here within the last... Uh, uh, last end of last year, I put uh, the O200 parts in it. Uh, it's got the 200 crank, O200 crank, and, and cylinders and camshafts. So it's it's a C85-8, not electric, with a lot of O200 parts in it, and it works real well. And control systems uh, were center mounted stick, uh, very conventional, uh, like a Cub or you know a lot of.
mild stick controlled airplanes and uh, the, um, the ailerons are real conventional except that they're a little more powerful than most ailerons on these home builds. Uh, they have a deeper core and special shape to uh, you know the air, airfoil shape and so forth so they're quite responsive the ailerons are particularly for an airplane with this big a wing area and uh, the uh, there's no flaps on this one. Uh, now looking at the airplane it looks like it'd be very adaptable to floats. Uh, are floats available for the airplane? We don't do floats yet but it wouldn't be any problem. I'm sure from a design standpoint I have no concern about putting floats on it and, and the float fittings we probably have float fittings in our system already off of the other bear hawks that would weld on here. And how many of the bear hawk design style of aircraft are out there flying now? There's well over a hundred, probably 150 bear hawks of various designs flying right now. So if someone wanted to get in uh, contact with you, do you have a web address so they could uh, dial in? Yeah, bearhawk aircraft, bearhawkaircraft.com will get you pretty much everything you want to know. And you can go to, you can Google like Bearhawk LSA. There's a tremendous amount of stuff on the internet about the Bearhawk. A lot of our builders have set up their own sites. And you should just, you just Google Bearhawk and you're going to have more stuff you know what to do with. <laughs> Thank you very much for your time then. Okay.